We've just hiked up the hill. And uh, we're gonna do some heart rate testing. I chose this climb for the heart rate study because it's easy and uh, it's a typical warm up for me. I just finished a long hike uphill, so I started with a heart rate about 98 beats per minute. Um, if you notice, uh, it peaked a little higher, but I was able to bring it back down relatively quickly before reaching the ground. For the next route, I got on a 512 trad line that I've been working. Um, it's the second pitch of a route, so you're already off the ground, hence the heightened mental aptitude. Um, you can see that my heart rate's already at about 140 within five feet of the ground. Um, the climb is not a death route, but there are uh, some moments of ground fall potential. You can see right here I'm fussing with a lot of gear, trying to build something that's safe before entering the crux right here. The um, hardest move of the climb is the next move here. You can hear a little grunt from me. Um, I'm nervous and I get very pumped. My heart rate is exceptionally high here. You can see it continues to go up until I place that kind of oh god piece uh, to keep you off the ground, at which point it was just a uh, pump war to get to the chains. I chose this FA to do for the heart rate test because it really elicited that mental and fear response that I was looking to compare against. While climbing, I definitely noticed that I felt um, inaccurate, I felt shaky, I couldn't make good decisions, I was hesitating a lot, and that's really the things I'm looking to avoid when I'm run out. I was pumped stupid, and um, you definitely see a connection between how I felt and my heart rate numbers. So even though I sent that route, I decided I want to compare it against something indoors to see how it correlated. I made up a V5-ish boulder problem that I decided I was going to climb four times. You can see me here on the third lap. My heart rate is steadily going up, but um, it's not super high yet. The goal here was to do it uh, as fast as I could four times in a row and see how high I could get my heart rate as compared to the route that I did outside. I was able to max it out at about 130, which is significantly lower than my even starting heart rate on the Outdoor 512. So next I tried something that I've been messing around with a lot at Mountain Strong Denver, and that is to artificially elevate the heart rate before getting on a climb. The idea here is to simulate that feeling of being flustered and all over the place on your project, um, and we do that with aerobic conditioning rather than kind of that hormonal fear response that you get outside. What I found is that quite clearly the experience is exactly the same. So using cardio conditioning to kind of stress your body out really mimics heavily the feeling I had on a difficult route that is run out outside. You can't send a new route and not have a celebratory beer. Yeah. Give me a cheers. Uh, can't fall all the time. <laughs>